Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and today I prepared another exciting project for you because Halloween is just around the corner. So I thought I could create some beautiful Halloween theme acrylic pour and for that I chose these three colors. This one is deep yellow, orange yellow and crimson red. So I will be doing these and mixing them with my titanium white. My white is this one, it's from Lucas Crow Studio Titanium White. And I mixed my colors with pouring medium. I use, usually mix 50% of acrylic colors and 50% of pouring medium. But if you've got different brand, you need to use different ratio, you just need to figure it out. And I make my own pouring medium from glue and water. I use PVA glue, which I think some of you uh, can buy Elmer's glue, uh, but I can buy Hercules in my country and I use 60% of PVA glue and 40% of water, tap water. I will also put two drops of silicone oil in each color, but not in my white. I will put silicone uh, in my white later on. So gently mix it, not too much. Like this. And my titanium white is also a mixture of pouring medium and acrylic color. It's 50-50. But as I said, if you've got different brand, it might work differently. So I'm going to pour this on my canvas. Like this. And I need to keep a little bit for later on. So that should be enough. Let's pour this. Now I can put silicone in my white. So also two drops because I will be making swipe. And I would like to have some nice cells. Mix it up a little bit. Now time to pour my colors. So I'm going to start with my deep yellow. And I'll just mix it up, mix it up a little bit like this. This is This is orange yellow. And this one is crimson red. I like this. Now I can pour my white on the top. And maybe a little bit of that orange because I want orange to be quite contrast. Now I've got this piece of plastic which is something between thin and thick. I don't know where I got it from but I'm sure you can buy some something like this in an art shop. So I'm gonna make a swipe Put it up here and I don't push too much, just very gently swipe. Oh, no, that wasn't good. Again, sorry. So very gently swipe all these colors. Can you see these cells growing? Now I put my heat gun here. It was cheap one from Lidl, but it works well for me. So let's pop all these cells. Ooh. 
wow look at these such a beautiful sauce look at that that's beautiful that's what i hoped for i love these now i'm gonna let this dry for about three four days and then i will show you what to do next with them some of them might grow a little bit more so they might all stretch together but it's okay that's beautiful perfect for my halloween background hey so welcome back as you can see my cells changed their shapes and they stretched a lot but it's okay it will be a perfect background for my halloween acrylic pour as you can see i already draw some pumpkin shape here in the middle with my pencil and i would like to use these acrylic markers which i got from arteza and they are kind of cool because you can change the tip i'll be using mainly black and here there are some tweezers and it has got tip like this and you can actually take it off and change it to a smaller tip which is great because if you want to paint little details you can use this tip and if you want to paint um, like bigger lines you can use this tip and you need to shake it in the beginning like this and then maybe pump pump the color here until it looks like this i pumped it and now i can start painting i start with these outlines like this because that's i wanna i want to have nice shades So the outline is painted and now I'm going to change the tip into the smaller one like this and I will try to paint these lines. Let's start here. Of course, if you don't like using markers, you can also use black acrylic color and thin brush. But I thought this this is the easy way how to do that. So let's make some shades up here, maybe a little shades here, and again I'm going to use my brush and blend it. And let's use my Van Dyke Brown as well. Here and there. Again, quickly blend it when it's wet.
Yep, I think that looks quite nice. And now I'm gonna make some shades on the bottom and between these lines so it looks more 3D. Let's make little shades down here. Mm, quite quickly blend it. Like this. So it started to look more 3D. Now some shades around these lines. Now I'm also going to use my titanium white just to add some reflection on my pumpkin and I think that will be it. Just little reflections here and there and I will have my special Halloween pour. Now, when I look at it, I feel like the pumpkin should stand out from all these cells. So I decided to paint this black edge, bigger one, and I think it will look much nicer. And for that, I again, I'll use my uh, acrylic marker space black. So shake it. Mm. As you can see, I'm following these cells, so I'm trying to figure, figure out where it should go and I think it will look much nicer. Now I'm going to use this titanium white on these edges because I think it will make it look even more 3D. It needs some white. And that's it, that's my Halloween acrylic pumpkin. I love the result, it looks beautiful. And you can experiment however you want and create a beautiful 3D looking piece of art. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will enjoy your Halloween. This year it will be definitely different. My kids love dressing up, but we will stay home. And I hope you are all safe and healthy. And I hope this situation will soon disappear and we will be able to visit our loved ones soon because my granny, she's in Alzheimer's center and we can't see her, but I will send her this special piece and I hope it will make her happy. Well, thank you very much. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Or you can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. See you soon. Bye.